This was supposed to be a bullpen game. Okay. And the bullpen game, in my opinion, benefits the Yankees. Although the Astros relievers have done a good job, I think the Yankees set up for a bullpen game better than the Astros. So who would they have um, who would they have started? It would probably be Chad Green, the Yankees, mm -hmm. and they would start a quitty. And then after that, who would get the bulk? That would be interesting. Would it be Jay Happ? Would they have gone with uh, CC Sabathia? A lot of ways they could have gone. And then game five would have been Tanaka on full rest. Right. Against Granky on full rest. Mm -hmm. Advantage Yankees. So there's a good chance you could go to Houston three games to two. Now, with the rain out, the bullpen game's out. Granky starts tomorrow against Tanaka. Right. You could still say advantage Yankees. Yes. Then, on Friday at 7.07, game five will now be Verlander. On full rest. On full rest against Paxton. Now, if you want to slant it toward the Yankees, you say, well, Paxton's better at home, so it's a good thing he won't be pitching in Houston. And Verlander's better in Houston than he is on the road. But Verlander is still Verlander on full rest against Paxton, who pitched two and a third innings his last time out. Now, game six, it gets interesting. Okay. Then that's a bullpen game. Unless the Astros want to start Garrett Cole on three days rest. I can't imagine them doing that if they're up three games to two. <clears throat> Right. If they're down three games to two, maybe you do start Garrett Cole, and maybe he's not nearly the pitcher that he is on full rest. We saw what happened with Verlander. The Yankees at this point with game six would have to do a bullpen because you're not going to start Severino on short rest. Right. And Severino now becomes your game seven starter, probably against Cole. But the biggest negative for the Yankees, in my opinion, is that they will now play four straight games. Not one relief pitcher in their bullpen, not one, has ever pitched more than two days in a row. They have not gotten length out of their, pay, uh, out of their starters. The best start was by Tanaka, 68 pitches over six innings, and he was taken out because he ran out of gas, not because of that third time through the order. He was tired after 68 pitches. So let's say he gives them six innings again. You're going to get three innings out of your bullpen. Yep. And one of the guys that are important to you Adovino has not pitched well. No. Then you've got Paxton, who only gave you two and a third innings last time out. You might have to fill seven innings or six innings if he does the same thing again out of your bullpen. Then there's a game the next night with no rest because you're flying to Houston. And so is Houston. They have the same deal. And you probably have to do a bullpen game. Are you going to push them the three days in a row all of a sudden? Are you even going to push them the four days in a row? But how do you avoid it? I don't know how to avoid it. I don't know if you can. Because, all right, with Tanaka, you're still likely going to have to get uh, nine outs out of the bullpen. And it's not just like the old days where I'm just going to go to my bullpen. It's about matchups. So if you want to play the analytic game of the lefty versus lefty, play all of the analytics, making sure you've got the best pitcher and the best matchup, you're likely going to go deep into your bullpen every single game. How do you avoid having guys... Like Adovito, guys like Britton, guys like Green, not pitch all four of those days if you're going to try to win this series, possibly in seven. And even if you do it, and of course they're going to be willing to do it, because oh, yeah. the stakes are high, are they going to be as effective? And, and the answer is probably no, because the Yankees have assiduously avoided pitching guys three days in a row. So the most they've ever pitched is two days in a row. You're asking them to double that at right. the highest pressure imaginable. That's why I don't think this rain out benefits the Yankees. I'm sorry, it just doesn't. Now, if they're up two games to one, maybe all you're asking them is to do it two days in a row. You win two games, and then you win the series. But now, you're going to have to do it three days in a row. Have to, if you, you, if if you, you want to win the series. Right, if you win three games in a row, then you don't have to pitch a game seven. But if there's a game seven, you're going to ask them to do it four days in a row. Right. So what if all of these games, these next two games, are close games? You have to bring in Chapman in the ninth inning. Is he going to pitch a third day in a row? I think he would, but the question is, he's not, he's not been trained for it, and is he going to be as effective? Right, but are you going to have to now maybe break some rules with Tanaka and just say if the exact same scenario happens where he goes six innings, 68 pitches, you think he's kind of losing it, that you, you can't to take the him. chance. I'm going to have to push him. I'm yep. going to have to have him go out there in the seventh inning. I'm going to have to try to steal outs so I can avoid having to use some people in that game. 
And God forbid if Tanaka blows up or if you get a Paxton situation where you can't make it out of the second inning, you're in trouble. then you're in a lot of trouble. You're in trouble. You, you're going to have to then turn to a Sabathia or a Hap. Well, yeah, then that's what you do. You would have to do that. But then that kills your, your bullpen day in game six. You know what I mean? I mean, there's so many, there are so many potholes for the Yankees here. You can't control Mother Nature. It's going to rain. It's raining right now as I stepped into the building. So it's going to rain tonight. It's a 100% chance. And baseball did the smart thing.